Hi Year 5. Okay, this week we're going back to verbal reasoning, so we're going to be looking at words and letters again. So I want you to think really carefully about the order that letters are in and what we know about what letter might come after a certain letter. For example, if I have a T, I know that I might have an H coming after that. If I have a T, it's very, very unlikely I'm ever going to have an S coming after it. So I want you just to bear those things in mind. Now, let's have a look at what we're doing today. So it says, in these sentences, the word in capitals has three letters next door to one at each other taken out. There's in three letters taken out. These three letters will make one correctly spelt word without changing their order. The sentence that you make must make sense. Mark the three, the correct three letter word on the answer sheet. Okay, so we'll do this one together and then you'll have a few goes by yourself. So, we read the sentence first. This sentence is, the crap, the cat scratched him with his. Now, what we have to do is to think about the sentence and put it into context, okay? A cat does not have flippers, a cat does not have hands, but a cat does have claws, okay? So, I'm thinking, right, I've got the C, I know the claws starts with a C. And then I'm thinking, okay, if it's claws, we're going to have the S at the end there, and what I'm looking for is this gap in the middle. Now, I know that we spell claws using these three letters here. So, I can put them in like that. It is as simple as that, okay? So, let's have a little look at how they explain that to you. So, it says, answer, law. The three-letter word that has been removed from CS is law. If we place this three-letter word in between C and S, it makes the word clause and thus completes the sentence. Okay? Let's have a look at a few more of those. So, that one we just did, I think it was quite obvious. You're like, oh, I know that our cat scratches with claws. Some of these, may the word might not be so obvious, but you can still definitely think in a certain direction. Like this one, it says, his favourite food was cave. Now, obviously, that's not a word. We're missing three letters. The letters that we're missing, okay, are one of those choices. So we know we're going to be thinking about food. So what we do is we just look along the letters and think, okay, what's going to fit in? What if I put a group of these letters after this C here? Well, I know that we never have a word that's C and then B, so it's not going to be that. Or C and G, no. C and then E, that could work. So what I do is if you've got a bit of paper, you can do this as well, is actually just kind of play around with some options. So I think, okay, well I could have the C there, then I might have this Eve, and then I'd have to have, oh no, that is not a food, that's not going to work, that's not an option. A C then an S, no, that's not going to work. A C then a B, that's not going to work. So I've got to think a little bit again, and then I was thinking, well, actually, okay, I wonder if I could have this one here. C, A, here's my C and my A, and then I think, okay, if I put in um, B, I'm going to change it to that red, actually. Put in my B, and then I put in my other B, A, G and E, I get the word cabbage. So I've got the bag in the middle here, let me just highlight that for you, and there is my word cave. Now I don't know many people whose favourite food is cabbage, but in this circumstance, the favourite food is cabbage, and so A is going to be the correct answer. Okay? Right, let's have a look at this one. This one says, the cars, mm, in the bad weather, okay? Now it starts with an S, okay? So I'm thinking, okay, what might the word be? The car's something in bad weather. Hopefully you're thinking in your head, what could that word be? 
Now, if I'm going to assume that it's starting with an S, again, I'm going to look and think, okay, what letters can come after S? Well, not a D, not going to work. P could be, K could be, R could be, and L could be. There's quite a lot of options here. So I'm going to start off by looking at this one. So I'm going to have S, K, I, D. So I've already put in the S. Okay, and then I've got, ah, oh, D, E, D. And that actually makes sense. The cars skidded in the bad weather. So I was lucky on that one that actually B was the answer. I was able to find that quite quickly. Now, if you want to pause for this one, you can do, and you can have a look at this one, have a go by yourself. It said he, mm, for more space in the room. And the letters that we've got we've been given are B, E, D. Okay, so think, okay, how would... What would be an appropriate word in that sentence? He mm for more space in the room. If you want to pause, you can now. Okay, so hopefully you thought, right, let's see what letters might fit in. So we've got, well, straight away I'm thinking, well, I'm starting my word with B. I'm not going to have a T after that, but I could have an R, I could have an O. I could have an E as well. So I'm just going to start off because I was going to just start off with the A and have a look. So I'm going to put B, E, G, G, O in. And I'm starting to see something now because I've got my B here. And then actually if I have E, D, he begged for more space in the room. That makes sense. Okay? Right. Again, I definitely want you to pause this one. If you haven't paused so far, you can pause and have a go at this one. We will go through it together, so don't worry. Think about the context, what the missing word might be, how the words might match up. So it says, in the, the morning was spent in mm, the garden. The morning was spent in mm, the garden. Now, here, a little handy hint. We know that it's going to start with a C, but also I've got a kind of common suffix at the end there, the ing, I'm going to think that's probably going to be staying together, so it's something k ing So pause. Okay, so with this one, I thought, well, I'm going to keep together the C and the L, because actually those letters commonly go together. We have, like, you know, lots of words that are sort of C and L. So then I looked along and I thought, right, what could I put with the C and the L that would make a word that would match and then I could have ing on the end. And I noticed that actually we've got D here with the letters ear and I could have therefore clearing. The morning was spent clearing the garden. So that would make sense there. Now you're going to have some of these sent home, so the same thing, if you get stuck just come back to the video, but also just spend some time, don't worry too much at the moment if you're not very quick at it, but just spend some time moving the letters around and putting the three letters in different spaces and eventually you'll start to get a little bit easier. Now here we've got a slightly different skill that we're going to look at, okay, and it says in these questions find the two words one from each group that will complete the sentence in the best way. Mark both words on the answer sheet. So, our example is, okay, big is two. Now, it's either small orange colour, so you've got to choose one of those words, as wide is two, apple, red, narrow, okay? So, we think, right, something is big, Here's me doing something big, okay? The opposite of that, and a lot of these are opposites, okay? The opposite of big is small. So it would make sense that I'm gonna say big is too small as wide, something that is wide, is kind of long and wide, is too, and the opposite is going to be narrow, okay? So I'm gonna select narrow for that one. Let's have a look at what they say. So, answer, small and narrow. In this example, big is too small, big is too small, as wide is to narrow, is correct, because the word relationships here are antonyms, which means opposites, 
okay, like hot, cold, or um, antonyms. For other questions, the word relationship will be something different. Pay attention to the word type as well as the meaning, but the important thing to remember is the first relationship will connect with the second relationship. So, with these um, ones here, I'll just move it down to show you. Big is to big is to small as wide is to narrow. It's the same relationship. They're both antonyms. Okay. So relationship one will be the same as relationship two. Okay. There's got to be a connection there. Right. Let's have a look at some of them then. So look is to I blink see as listen is to hear tone noise so we've got to think of a relationship okay so we start with the first one look is to now if i'm thinking look to look at something okay i think well if i'm talking about looking i'm thinking my eyes okay so i think okay look to eye right the other way around for listening would be to listen is to ear now i don't see the word ear here or here Okay, so I'm thinking, right, I don't think that one's quite right. Look is to blink, okay, as listen is to, well, last time I checked my ears do not blink or do anything like that. Maybe if I had wiggle there, I possibly would have a relationship there, but I don't think that works either. So the last option, look is to see, as listen is to hear. So we've got the same relationship there. So I'm going to circle, look is to see, I use my eyes to see, as listen is to hear. I use my ears to hear. Okay, next one. So we've got high is to low, far, big, as deep is to full, shallow, water. So again, let's just focus on the, the first relationship first. So high is to low, okay? So I'm thinking, right, that's something that could work. Now if I can compare that to over here, I've got deep is to, now shallow would work. Okay, think about the pool, you've got the deep end, you've got the shallow end, and in a pool as well, you might have a high diving board and a low diving board. Those relationships are actually the same. So we've managed to spot that one quite quickly. High is to low, as deep is to shallow. Okay. Um, Pause here, have a go, and then we will go through it um, by ourselves as well. So this one says, bus is to driver, passengers, road, as plane is to airline, cloud, pilot. Okay, so let's have a little look. I'm going to first of all just focus on the bus is to, that relationship there. Now, I'm actually going to go a little bit backwards here. Bus is to road. Okay, we know that our bus is driven along a road. Now, a plane is to... Now, a plane, I guess you'd say, is, is kind of in air, isn't it? Like, driven in air, not necessarily driven in cloud. So I don't think those two options work. So I'm actually going to cross those out, just to make it a little bit easier for me. So the next one, if I say bus is to passengers, so when you go onto a bus, you are a passenger. Okay, as a plane is to, well I've only got airline and pilot, there's nothing on that that kind of links in with the word passenger, so I'm actually going to get rid of passengers there. So actually now I'm only left with one option on this side, which is bus is to driver. Okay, so we have, as we know, on a bus we've got a bus driver, so I'm saying right, it's going to be bus is to driver, and a plane is obviously not driven, flown by a pilot. Okay, so I've got the same relationship there. Bus is to driver as plane is to pilot. You could probably think of another one actually, one of your own. Okay, right, so you are also going to have some of those to do. You have got this information that we've just been through has been sent to you as well. So if you want to go back, look at it again, have it in front of you, that might be easier. You are going to have this video to refer back to and questions that are similar. Okay, and that is all for this week. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next week.